Hopefully you've got a rich, full life and you had better things to do than spend any of your Saturday watching that Donald Trump rally in Waco, Texas. Is it China, sir? Or is it Russia? It was mostly the same old, same old. The election was rigged. Russia, Russia, Russia. It was a perfect phone call. I'm going to build the wall. And of course, that really awkward dance at the end. And the folks who waited for hours to see Trump in Waco, well, they were pretty much exactly as you'd expect. January 6, traitors were there. Inmate number 3763303. Stolen Valor phonies were there, talking tough and then fumbling when asked simple questions. Where, where'd you start? Marine. Me too. What was your MOF? I was special. But here's what I do want you to know about that rally in Waco. There was a lot of talk about 2024 as a turning point, a do or die moment where America will either be rescued or destroyed. It's an all or nothing type of race. We either save America or we become, we fall to communism. I mean, those are our options and it's all coming down to 2024. This is not a dog whistle, this is a train whistle to anti-government actors. And these are the type of people Donald Trump's cultivating. He's, again, this is big with the militia movements, the patriot movements, the so-called patriot movements. And he is bringing them in. And after January 6th, it has to alarm all of us because is he building an army or a militia to protect him and help him and avenge him? Potentially, and that's what's so frightening. It was the Republicans versus the Democrats. And then it changed into something totally different. It became conservatives against liberals. Now we've, we've gone beyond that. And I'm convinced today it's patriots versus the traitors. He is absolutely trying to gin up the extremists. He seems to be saying as far as 2024 goes, either he wins or else. And that is scary.